Action. Okay. Good? <laughs> good? Okay, cool. All good. Hey guys, it's Ashley and Manny, and today we're having a conversation with Kristen from Ella Lou Photography, and we're talking about all things color and color theory. Um, Kristen, one of the first things that we had to learn when we um, started was like technical aspects of using our cameras, um, but there's a whole slew of other things that go into being able to get a good photo. And so I know I mentioned to you over Instagram, because we primarily do weddings, um, everything is pretty much set in stone as far as like colors and patterns and, and all of those things come, mm -hmm. uh, or all of, and all of those things um, when we come into the picture. Um, so we don't really have too much practice with like styling shoots and putting colors together. And sure. I know a huge part of that is understanding color theory. So we're trying to plan for an elopement style shoot in the near future. I know color is gonna play a big part in that. Um, I recently had like a major outfit fail, in my opinion, for Riley's one year shoot, which we're redoing hopefully on Monday. <laughs> um, but I really am I'm super excited to talk with you to get some like tips and tricks, not to only to help us, but also to hopefully help like our couples um, for engagements or for families or just for mamas who are getting their own, you know, shoots done. Um, and to help them too when they're kind of planning their photo shoots. So yeah, absolutely. I think it's super clear in all the work that you post that you're really good with putting colors together and picking out outfits and understanding color theory and making sure everything works well together. Um, so can you give us a little bit of background, how long you've been doing photography and a quick, th like a run through of how you got to where you are now? Sure, so I picked up the camera, so I've always, dabbled in photography like I was the teenager whose bedroom had like pictures taped all over her walls and her door and like I always loved photography but didn't really think of it as something that I would could or would ever do as a career mm -hmm. it was like the equivalent to being like an astronaut or something like it just didn't seem realistic to me yeah um or like it was even on my radar and I always loved the arts but never could find anything that I was good at I tried my hand at drawing and painting and I just was terrible at all of it. Yeah. Um, and then after my oldest daughter was born, I had booked her a newborn, a three month, a six month, a nine month, and a 12 month photo shoot. And my husband was like, you are out of your mind. He's like, <laughs> you like photography and you're pretty good at it. So why don't we just upgrade your camera, get you an editing app and like let you do it. And I was like, I guess, okay, I'll give it a shot. And that's kind of like where it started. Um, he's much more business minded than I am. And so he was the one that really pushed me in that direction. Gotcha. Um, and then from there, I really dabbled in everything. I did weddings, I did just everything. W uh, weddings, babies, families, newborns, I, I did it all just to kind of see what I really liked, I guess. Mm -hmm. And in the beginning, I was just looking to build my business since I didn't really know where to go and what direction. And so this was 10 years ago now. Um, and I would say this year is the first year that I really honed in and decided to be very um, particular in the types of sessions I take on. I specialize mm -hmm. in all things motherhood and that's truly where, I mean, it probably sounds really cliche being a mom, but that's really like what drives me and it, yeah. what I inspires me. And so births, um, families, maternity, maternity is my jam. Yeah. <laughs> I love maternity. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's how I got to where I am now. I know, see, like, when we were doing our maternity pictures, I don't, like, I don't know why we hadn't, like, really found you yet, um, but seeing your maternity pictures yeah. makes us, like, it makes me want to be, be pregnant again just to get those pictures. <laughs> Not gonna happen, but it makes me, it makes me want to, just because, shot. like, you're really, really good Not gonna happen um, with what you do. <laughs> so for a newbie or someone who's just starting to try and like delve into color theory and understand how all of that goes, how outfits you wear during a photo shoot affect like the overall results of the photos, um, you already kind of talked about it, but what's your inspiration and how do you decide the look that you're going for with a photo shoot? So everyone is very different in their styles their mm -hmm. tastes what they're comfortable in um and so i would say i have a specific style that i enjoy shooting that i feel like inspires me more and therefore 
brings out the best in me. Mm -hmm. um, so what I try and do is only put that out into the world. So I try and put those images out um, on social media and things like that. So yeah. you probably heard a lot like capture and share what you want to attract and who you want to attract. And so that's yeah. what I try and do is, um, now granted there's going to be others that book me that maybe um, aren't quite on the same wavelength as far as their style or what they're comfortable in. Right. So I currently have a client closet um, with a variety of dresses but and like uh, skirts and tops for pregnant moms and um, things like that. And so I try and only keep in that closet the things that I would really want to shoot or be inspired by. Mm -hmm. um, but then even within that, there's a variety of um, styles based on comfort level. So it's still all me, but it might be different per mom as far as what they're comfortable. Some might not want to show their belly. Maybe something is a little too low cut for someone. Maybe they don't want their arms shown. Yeah. Um, they don't want their back shown. So there'll be a variety of that type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I keep my color palette pretty neutral. Mm -hmm. um, I really love like Sunset is like where it's at for me. And so even yeah. the color of the sunset, like that, you'll find a lot of those okay. types of shades in my closet. Um, I also have little girl pieces up until like age eight or nine. And so again, those are all very like, I try and find like timeless classic pieces. There's some small shops um, that I really like regularly use. Right. Style and, I don't know if this is part. So Style and Select yeah. is a website that, um, you can pay to have the membership for, you can even try it out, I think initially for like seven days or something, but they piece, it's like a stylist, an online stylist, they do all the work for you. You fill out a questionnaire, you fill out a color scheme even that you like, the um, how many people are in your family, their ages, things like that, and they will piece together outfits for you from nice. accessories to shoot, like everything. Um, I use that a lot in that even if my clients aren't doing it for themselves because they can then buy the pieces. So mm -hmm. it's really foolproof, but I'll even use it to put together things from my client closet that are similar to the layout okay. that they provide. And it gives me an idea of what the client likes as far as colors and styles and things like that. Gotcha. So you have your clients, like you hold the membership and then you have your clients fill that out or you just kind of like put in that information for your clients, depending on what the shoot is. And then kind of so like I yeah I hold the membership and then I send every client will have their own like unique password that it generates for you as you gotcha. plug them in um, and then I send them the website or the a clickable link yeah. and it has their password and then they just have to do the rest and then they it sends it to me like that's the results awesome. yeah that's it's really pretty cool. great that's awesome yeah. how do you determine or put together color palettes patterns and textures so. I'll let you run. Style and Select has been huge. Yeah. Like they are like, they keep up with all the latest trends as well. So mm -hmm. I feel like that kind of takes that guessing work out of it because, and, and they're good about textures and layers, which I think really add great dimension to photos. And so yeah. I try to add that as much as possible. I'll, I have a couple of like, especially for maternity, like I'm kind of going to focus on maternity just yeah. because that's what I shoot the most, but it really can apply to all sessions. Um, if mom picks out a couple dresses that she has, I will, I have like two or three like lacy shawls or something that I can throw on with that or hats or things that maybe they don't even know that they want it or like it. Yeah. Just like I'll throw it in there for a couple of the shots yeah. and then that way it gives a, a good, um, like dynamic range for yeah. their images. Um, they have a variety and so right. I feel like that's important too is that if you're wearing the same thing throughout, there's nothing wrong with doing that, but if you can change it up, it definitely gives you that. Even if you have similar um, poses or whatever, it yeah. really changes it up based on what they're wearing and stuff. And It'll so give more like flavor adding, and, and variety to the overall shoot. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Um, cool. So focusing, I guess, a little more on families, how does the color palette come into play when you're choosing multiple outfits? Cause like it's so, kind of easier when it's just mom or when it's just like mom and husband, but like when multiple people come into play, how does that? Absolutely. So I have always been a big advocate of dress mom first. We are our worst like critics and yeah. we are the hardest to shop for and the hardest to feel comfortable in yeah. something or even beyond that to feel beautiful in something. And so, um, I always, always suggest and really push for mom to 
find something that she absolutely loves first. Kids are, our kids are adorable and we will find, it's, it's so easy to yeah. shop for them, to find things that are just like, you know, super cute for them. Mm -hmm. Dads are easy because they're men and typically, I mean, there hasn't been the rare dad that's been like, I really don't want to wear that. I'd rather wear something like this. But for the most part, they're just like plug and go. You just yeah. like, you know, put them in what you want. You know, they'll just say, put me in whatever you want me to be in. So um, it kind of goes along with my, that's why I tend to keep things more on the neutral side because mm -hmm. even if mom wants to dress two to three different outfits, like if you put dad in something super neutral, like a, a denim type shirt, like the chambray shirt and like uh, camel colored shorts or pants, he will pretty much go with whatever it is that you pick. So keeping dad super neutral will help in that as well. Um, if you do want to add color, again, you can, if you pick colors that stay away from neon, like that's always like, yeah. no lime green, no, you know, nothing like, like that. Stay yeah. away from all of that. Um, I always tell them no like, um, logos if possible, avoid yeah. the logos, um, and patterns, kind of a misconception is that like you can't mix patterns or like, oh, you can't wear stripes if he's wearing polka dots. Like, and that's not true. If you have the color, if the color works, then you can do it. Okay. Um, so the colors are more so, important than more so like the, the texture or the patterns that are on. I would clothing. say so. Okay. Yes. That I would say definitely. Um, I mean, granted, if you have like little cartoon something or another well, yeah. in the right color that doesn't necessarily make it right but for the most part you can go with that and and it would be okay um especially because like for men like they have a lot of like those striped like pattern type shirts or whatnot right. and so mom could get away with wearing like something in like a bold floral and it would work um you don't want too many patterns because then it just starts getting overwhelming right um but yeah so that's Sounds good. Um, and then you talk, You already talked about sunset. Sunset is your jam, but how important would you say location is? Um, so for location, I literally um, go based on <laughs> sunset, <laughs> like where the sun sets. Okay. So um, if you have pretty light, you can get away with shooting behind a restaurant yeah. right next door to a dumpster. Like right. if you like, ha if you nail the light and you have a gorgeous sunset, you can really, I would prefer a thousand percent. I would pick good light over a pretty location. Always, always, always. Because I feel like at least for me in the way that I shoot the light, like the emotion, the connection, like yeah. all of that. It's just like all I'm big on the whole recipe like it's more than just pretty clothes it's more than just a good connection it's more than if you can get all of those things right you've got magic and yeah. so i really like strive for all of it okay <laughs> <laughs> yes all of it all of it what resources do you look to or use to start putting your ideas together i would say there's some photographers that i follow on instagram mm -hmm. that just nail it every time. And I love drawing inspiration from that. Um, but I also find that most of those photographers also use style and select. Okay. And so it just, even if your clients aren't sounds like the big thing is that like you send it to your clients and they end up purchasing all their pieces, right. but it doesn't have to just be for that. That's what I love about that resource is that you can yeah use it just to see what they put together. And if the clients like it, then you guys can work together to piece together maybe cheaper options or a combination of what they already have in their closet and what I have in my client closet and come up with something that works very similar to what the board is that they give you. Gotcha. Um, so I feel like that is pretty much my main resource is Style and Select yeah. because I can even go on without my clients yeah. And if I, like when I do a, um, like a model call, like if I have yeah. a shoot, like it's just for my own creativity, something that I just want to do. Yeah. Um, I will use that as my style board. And so I'll go on and put like, like I know what colors I want, but I can't really put it all together. Um, I'll go on there and from what they provide, piece together for my own stuff. So gotcha. it's just so multi -funk. Like it's, there's so many different things that you can use that resource for. Um, Pinterest obviously has tons of stuff, but I mm -hmm. have not, I used that more, I, I'd say in the beginning of my career, but now with Instagram and you can literally like search hashtags and things like that and come up yeah. with so much more, I feel like instantly. 
Um, yeah. Awesome. Oh, I do create within Instagram. If I see like photographers that'll post like a family or something and I just am loving the vibe, I'll save it. And I have like, you know, within Instagram, you can have saved folders. Yeah. So that's like the new, I guess my new Pinterest is Instagram and I'll save, I have, whether it's posing that I love or colors that I love, like I have different boards within Instagram and it makes it really easy to, cool. to so, search that way. Yeah, and pull inspiration from. If you had like one or two sentences to kind of sum everything up and to give like one or two of the most important tips to like a couple or to me, um, since we're like starting to, to educate ourselves, that's the word, educate ourselves into more color theory, what would they be? So as much, I'm kind of, I guess I've kind of gone over just wardrobe in general, yeah, not just color, but I would say that you can have a rockin' outfit that photographs beautifully, but if you aren't physically comfortable in that outfit, it's going to show yeah. in your photos. You're going to look uncomfortable. So being comfortable in what you have, it, it and obviously it looking amazing. Like it's, it's, it's a combination. It can't just be, you can't just be super comfortable. You can't just, you really just have to take the time. Don't rush the process. Yeah. Take your time, find something for mom first. Yeah. Um, neutral colors, if you really want color, I would throw in some, like there's navy or like a deep green or mm -hmm. mustard. Mm -hmm. um, I love like the, like actually, the color of my mug, like this color. Yeah. I love, I mean, I even have my coffee mug in this color. Like I love that color and yeah. it photographs so well, especially at sunset. Um, so I'm not gonna lie, I will reschedule sessions that are overcast cloudy days. Really? For that because I feel like with the colors it really makes a big difference yeah based on your lighting as well so well I wanted like the color of your mug I wanted to show you is actually the color almost the color of the outfit that we just got in for Riley and we're Yay. gonna yeah so we're gonna we're planning to do her um, like redo her shoot on hopefully Monday and hopefully in the evening but that's oh, where is it Oh my goodness. That's the outfit I just got in for That her. is so cute. <laughs> you showed the mug, so I was Yay. like, wait, no, I have to show you that now. And then- um, That is super cute. I wanna show you the other one we got for her too. It's this one. Cause I was like really trying to pull like LL Lou photography vibes. <laughs> <gasps> yes, I actually have that in do like you? a- I do, <laughs> in a different color, but I have that exact thing and That's I used so it on cute. Zoe when she was like nine months old. Oh, cause it's got like so the crisscross straps in the back. I love it. That that type of thing, those little details, yeah, just huge. Like, yeah. can I like talk about yeah, of actual course. small shops on here? Okay, Shop James okay. is just, they're actually based here in Florida okay. and she yeah. is incredible. Like I've not gotten a piece that I didn't just love. And the twirl factor on her little, girl dresses Aww. is bomb like they and they're super classic looking they have and all of the colors she'll like change out colors occasionally she'll get new patterns or yeah. um, material in and I have I mean from tiny tiny till Ella like okay she has she has sizes and cool. they're on the pricier side so I only keep like I have a few that I keep in like a variety of sizes but they're so, and the sizing works because she has them. She has that crisscross in the back yeah. and then they have buttons, like three buttons. Okay. And so you can make it like as they grow, you can extend okay. it. So it, it will last you a couple years in one dress. That's like, awesome. Awesome tips. Thank you so much. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having me. Yeah. This was super fun. <laughs> good, good. I don't know. Do I need to say anything specific to Manny to like end it? Okay. <laughs> Tell Chris Marina to call her back. I'll cut this out. Tell Chris Marina to call her back in, in just a second. To have her stop? My recording? Uh, yeah, she can stop recording. Yeah, you can stop your recording. Yeah. Okay, Got thanks. It. Bye. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Hope you learned something. I think there's a lot of really good information in there um, to help you when you're planning your photo shoot. If you are interested in reaching out to us and booking a photo shoot, please feel free to visit our website. It's ismlivefilms.com. Uh, fill out our contact form and we will get back to you ASAP. Comment down below if you liked it or if you wanna see or hear any new topics that we haven't talked about yet. Um, and subscribe if you want to. All right. 
Thanks. Bye.